Connor, what's the reaction been like since the, the draw on Tuesday? Yeah, it's been good. Obviously, uh, you either want the biggest team in the competition or, you know, you want kind of maybe an easier draw to progress through a few rounds. But, you know, the, between the lads we've spoken, you know, we think we can we can get a result, especially being at home. You know, if we if we get our heads on it, work hard and training up to the, up to the game. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a positive result. A team bringing that many fans here must be something that you relish playing in front of as well. Well, yeah, I've obviously I've heard, heard rumours that you know there could be ten to twelve thousand here. You know, with with their fans, they're looking at bringing maybe three and a half, four. So, you know, the more fans, the better, really. You know, it gets the lads going, it gives you an extra little bit of spice towards the game. Um, helps you if you know your back's against the ropes, but also helps you, you know if you if you get a goal and you you can stay in front. Like. In terms of league, things have been going a lot better the last couple of mm -hmm. games. Uh, three clean sheets as well, all all together. Mm -hmm. What's what's changed? What's enabled you to do that? Uh, nothing's changed. Um, I just think you know after the very uncharacteristic six goals that we let in against uh, against Lincoln, I think we've just got back to basics, defending well and defending corn as well. You know we've gone through a lot in training, um, especially set plays, and like you say, you know we're coming off the back of three clean sheets now. Obviously with the checker trade game in there as well, I think uh, the change in shapes helped a little bit, and um, we look a little bit more solid. I think with Theo coming in at left wing back as well gives us a little bit more, you know, bit defensive minded as well, and, and also more of a presence in the box defending. So, I think that's just gone back to basics, and um, hopefully we can get another clean sheet on Saturday. In terms of the new formation, how are you finding your new role? Yeah, I'm happy. I I, I prefer that's probably my preferred position, uh, either right or left of a three. Um, you know, either side I I don't mind, but you know I've been playing right back for you know a fair few games. Uh, which I enjoyed, something different. But I'd like to obviously get back playing, you know, at the centre of the pitch where, you know, you see more of the ball, more action. You know, you, you're in the thick of it more where if you're on the outside, you know, when the ball's on the other side of the pitch, you're a little bit redundant at times. But but no, I'm happy that I'm back in the middle. In terms of looking ahead now as well, you've had <clears> those two good results on the road. Back-to-back -back home games, there's a real chance now to build on that, isn't it? Yeah, like you say, well, obviously, before the start of the week, we were coming off a you know a bad defeat to Lincoln. We seen that we had two very tough away games. You know, personally, I'd have said you know if we can take four points from the week, I'd have been happy with it. But now we've got four points from the two away games. You know, you want to be looking to go and win this game on Saturday and you know turn it into seven points in a week, which you know off the back of the Lincoln game, I think would be fantastic turn around and you know credit to the lads for getting stuck in, especially in training. You know, we needed a reaction and, and we definitely get one, I think, over the last couple of games. I was going to say, the, the mood wasn't good after that 6-2 defeat, but mm -hmm. I imagine that you must be really pleased with the way that you managed to change that with the results. Yeah, we've got a strong dressing room, strong characters, mentally, do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, it'd be easy enough to, to, to fold there and, you know, especially when, you know, you play your next game and you're defending corners, you know, just to actually fold in and, and not have the character to go, you know what, you know, we, we've had one off weekend. You know, it ain't going to happen again. And I think, like you say, you know, the characters come through and shot through the squad since since that defeat, really. In terms of your own form this season, in the last few games, have you, how have you sort of assessed that? Yeah, I, I always like to, you know, compare myself to a steady Eddie, you know, uh, seven, seven out of ten every week, you know what I mean? Because as a defender, you know, you want consistency more than anything. You know, if I can pop up with a nine or a ten one week, you know, get a goal or, you know, a, a, a goal line clear and something like that, you know, I, I'm happy with that. But... As a defender, I'm just looking for consistency. You know, a sevens, sevens out of ten every week. You know, you know what you're gonna get. I work hard. You know, I'm not afraid to put my head in. Um, but like I said, I, I was a little bit disappointed with my performance against Stevenage. Um, I made a mistake, which is which is not what I like to do. You know, even if it's just one mistake, I don't like making mistakes. And uh, luckily, we got let off with that. So, but you know, I'll be open to get back to a consistent basis. Come on Saturday. In terms of looking ahead now as well. Like say after that defeat, it was mm -hmm. it was kind of the the mood. Like I say, wasn't good. But now actually, you're you're in touch and distance of the playoffs. You're only six points off the playoffs. It, it just shows how it, in Leeds things can change so quickly. Yeah, like you say, like we we need to stay realistic. You know, we we take one game at a time. We don't look too far ahead. You know, we've been 16th in the league now for a, f a fair few weeks. But like you said, you know, the league is very tight from from the playoffs. I think we're pulling off, pulling away from the relegation now. So I think. Fans can you know relax a little bit and put that to the back of their head that you know we're not going to be you know battling for relegation this season, but like you say you know you know ideally yeah we would love to reach the playoffs but you know you've got to look and be realistic of you know where we were last season, um, we've strengthened 
you know, we look a good team, we're picking up points on the road, you know, we've been doing well at home over in the Lincoln game. So, you know, nothing's out of our grasp, but, you know, I think if we can finish higher mid-table, I think it'll be a successful season. And uh, if we make the playoffs, that'll be a bonus. In terms of this this weekend, Berry aside, who were just on, on the edge of the playoffs, had a good start to the season. How do you sort of assess that that game? It's going to be a tough game, like you said. One one thing I've found out pretty early was, uh, you know, whether you play bottom or top, if you're not on it 100, percent you know, you you will you will get found out. Um, Berry are a good side. They've only just come down into the league from last season. They've still got some very good players. Um, they're doing okay. You know, probably underachieving for for the standard of club they are and where they've played that for the last couple of years. But um, you know, like you say, we're at home. You know, we we want to go and win the game. Um, so yeah, let's let's hopefully get the three points.